good morning today we are going to learn the screen castomatic how to record the screen so today we are also going to learn how to create a classroom in the google classroom so go to the google search and type the google classroom then you will get this so if you are using mobile you better install the google classroom app so the google classroom will look like this so here I have already logged into this account. So you need to sign in. You have to create account there. And after that you will get it like this. So this is the class that I have already created with my class 9 students in the 2017 and 18. So the UO classroom will be looked like this. And these are the different assignments that I have already posted for the students. So it's like this. I have posted a lesson like this animated card creator. So this is assigned to these all the students who are in the my classroom. So they have to watch this video and after watching that they have to create an interactive greeting card and make it unique with the special effects and animated characters this is you can check how many of you have already completed that work and if not you can remind them like that so you can assign this to everyone start by status start by first name start by username like that so this is an assigned list all so there are options streaming means you can post here and this is help you to check the your classroom work so these are the different assignments posted to my class so if you want to post the new assignment go there you can post assignment you can post a quiz you can post a question you can post the material like that these are different options available to you so this is to uh, share your assignments to the google calendar so that you will get the uh, regular updates from the google calendar and all the information that you are using in the uh, google classroom is saved in your class folder in your google drive so this tab will help you to check how many of you already joined in your google classroom so these are the students who already joined in my classroom so you can you can add the teachers also as a collaborators means uh, two teachers or the three teachers together they can teach so you click this one and enter the email of French suppose here I am adding the uh, Sampath as a my collaborator so he will get an invitation so using that invitation already I have shared with him so he is not getting that so i am inviting the sumo to join my class so you will get an invitation by using that link and you will join my classroom as an co teacher so we three together ten teach together so this is how and this will come to an a marks so for each assignment you have to allot some marks if they do that so it will be upgraded and they will get the marks like that so you can check their assessment so this is how the google classroom works now let us learn how to create a google classroom suppose after a creating account in the google classroom you want to create a your own class so go to plus symbol here so there are two options one is to join the class join the class means if i already created and there is a code for you use that code to join that class because you are a teacher you want to create a, a new class so click on this create classroom and accept these conditions and continue then you type the name of your class suppose i am creating a class 10 for the year 2020 
and 21 so if there are sections you can use a b c like that and it is subject for english okay if there are any rooms okay leave it blank and create class So this is uh, your class look like. So this is the code you can share with your students so that they can come and join your class. So these are the again three stream, classwork, people and marks. So use this stream means all the posts you made are available here. Suppose this is your first post. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Google Classroom. You can post there are options you can add even if you want to add a video or you can add a like that so this is an option also this will be helpful to add a google folder a link a file or a video from the youtube so that the students can watch it student can read the pdf and student can respond like that you have an option to assign to all the students this is if there are only one or two individuals you can select them also that means you can give an a differentiated instructions to an each individual suppose you think that this task is only for the uh, high achievers who are doing good then you can assign the task only to those specific people also so your classwork will be up here like this you can create assignments you can assignment quiz question material request like that so you can type the assignment you give instructions you can create add a file video or anything and you can create and even you can add the points also suppose after doing that they will get an 100 points you can Allow, give them a due date also so that is one week or the two weeks like that by and the topic name and it is for to whom you can use the same task for the multiple classes also and these are the students assignment because there are no students in my a classroom so far that's why we are not getting the name of the list of the students here okay So then you click on this and you will create an assignment. So this is how it works. Next, go for quiz. So the generally quiz we can create by using a Google Forms. So we will learn this in another class how the uh, Google Forms can be used. Okay. So suppose you want to ask the questions so type a question here and create so that the students will answer your question so material you can add title and you can add anything from google drive link file or youtube so that they will refer it and you can award the marks also topic so you can classify them into a different groups so like this so this is if you click that you will 
uh, see the list of the students or the teachers who are in this same classroom and this tab is used for to check the marks how many of them have already completed all these things you will find it so this is how the google classroom works and start practicing google classroom and also the screencast-o-matic thank you